Hi, this is Sherry from Amp to Glamp, and I am here with Grant, who is a product manager for Winnebago, and he is going to walk us through this Mini Winnie that you've requested, the 2500 FL. Let's do this. It is a really unique floor plan for Winnebago towables, and I'm sure as you're here or as, as people are attending the show, you'll notice just a very large amount of front bedroom floor plans. This floor plan is a little bit unique in the fact that it offers in a short, well under 30 feet, very half ton towable uh, unit, a rear bedroom with a front living. Up front, we are gonna have your um, some of our more standard features on the Mini. We're gonna have a power tongue jack, 30 pound dual propane tanks, so plenty of propane for the longer trips. We do put all of our units on a little bit more of an upgraded chassis in the Norco NXG frame. It's 100% huck bolted, CNC uh, formed, laser lined out riggers, uh, all e-coated uh, for the paint so it's a little bit more rust and corrosion resistant. All of our units as well will be built with Avzel composite backing. So behind our fiberglass, we do not use any Luon or wood. It's going to be all Asdel, which is a composite material. Very um, water wicking, doesn't rot, mold, or mildew. A little bit more insulative than uh, Luon, and it's going to be a little bit more soundproof than Luon as well. So definitely a nice feature on all the Winnebago's. Up on top, since we have some people inside right now, we'll kind of just go through some of the exterior features. On top of everything we build, standard, we're going to have a 190 watt solar panel. It is a rigid panel with a 30 amp uh, charge controller. So that 30 amp charge controller is able to be expanded upon extremely easily. It should take up to 600 watts. So if you need to down the road, add a couple more panels to the roof, it won't be an issue. We also have a side mount solar plug. So if you want to use the roof solar, in tandem with say a portable solar panel, you can plug that right into the side of the unit. And I like them because you can move them into the sun if you're parked in a, in a shady area, you can take them out and move them into the sun so you always have some trickle charge on your batteries. Um, moving down the side of the unit, we are gonna have Goodyear um, endurance tires on everything we build currently. Um, that was a change made recently. Aluminum entry steps on everything we do. We did recently make some changes to many lines, so we've increased the interior height a little bit, uh, right around six foot eight, so you have a good amount of interior height as well. The pass through storage on this floor plan, since the bed's at the back, is going to be under the bed. So we have a massive pass through storage here, which we have some show supplies in. But one unique feature I did want to point out on that is that our pass through storage is actually heated. We actually have a heat duct in the pass through storage, and what that's going to do for you. It's an aluminum bed base. So if you're a cold weather camping, which obviously down here, not a major concern, but up north definitely can be more of a concern. And you have your furnace going in the unit and it's extremely cold in your pass through storage. It makes a potential to form condensation on this aluminum on the bed base, which can then soak up into the wood, um, get under your mattress, can potentially cause mold. So that's to help expel that moisture, equalize the temperature, and it will help heat the base of the bed as well. So that's kind of a unique feature in the mini is that the pass-through storages actually are all um, direct heat from the furnace. On the back, I don't know if you can kind of see down here, uh, standard ladder on everything we build, standard LED lights on the full exterior of the unit, and we do have integrated reverse lights in our LED lights. We also have a two inch accessory receiver on every single unit. On the minis, that will be a 250 pound capacity, so if you want to bring a bike or electric bike or a generator, you're able to bring those things with you without modifying your frame, which for a lot of OEMs will void their frame warranty. We just take care of it from the get-go. And then we'll kind of uh, step inside and we'll take a peek at some things in there. Okay, great. While we're going inside, I do have a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, do you, by chance, know the width of this door? The width of this this door is going to be a little bit narrower. This should be a 22-inch door, and your main door should be a 26-inch door. So as we head inside the 2500 FL, one thing worth mentioning is that all of our entrance doors, which are friction hinge, do actually have campsite viewing windows in them. If you would like the privacy, we don't just prep it, but we actually include the privacy shade inside all of our windows. So this would be the main entrance of the 2500 FL. And we have currently a very um, more modern European, European cabinetry style um, in the interior of the unit. Up front, being a front living, we do have a theater seat, which is an option. Um, the standard sofa in this floor plan is actually gonna be a trifold sofa, so we do have the option to accommodate more sleeping in a, in a sofa that will fold out into a bed versus the theater seats. But these do provide um, a very comfortable seating directly across from the entertainment center. 
You have a small slide out, only one slide out in this floor plan. That's going to be a booth dinette slide out, which also goes down into um, extra sleeping space. All of our units come equipped with the dream dinette. So to convert this to a bed, it's extremely simple to do. Just unlock the, um, the lock on the table. There's no legs to wrestle with. There's no pedestals for me to knock my knees on as I get in and out of the dinette. And to convert it into a bed, I simply push it down. I would remove the cushions first, obviously, lay those across, and now we are able to convert a dinette to a bed in just a matter of seconds. So very simple to operate. Um, as we kind of move this way, you're gonna have your kitchen. It's more of a mid kitchen, mid bathroom, and then the rear bed. So your entertainment center is here. It will come equipped with a, I believe this is a 36 inch uh, TV, maybe 39 inch TV. Standard on all of our floor plans, we're gonna have a wireless cell phone charger. We have found that customers um, nowadays are actually preferring to stream their media versus using DVDs. So having a spot near your TV where you can have your phone or your device charging while you're streaming your media to maybe a fire stick um, is pretty helpful. You do still have a, currently we have a CV, CD, uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth, radio receiver. Um, kind of moving over to the kitchen here, you're gonna get a big stainless steel, we only use stainless steel sinks at Winnebago. Um, kitchen sink, it is a single basin, so able to fit the larger pots and pans a little bit easier. Um, your faucet is gonna be able to pull down so you do have a sprayer integrated into your faucet as well. Our refrigerator, is, we have two refrigerator types. This one is gonna be our optional eight cubic foot gas electric Dometic refrigerator. We also use as our standard refrigerator a 10.3 cubic foot 12 volt 110 Dometic refrigerator. Um, both are, are, honestly for the size that we're in, both are very large refrigerators. Your cooktop is going to be a three burner flush mount cooktop, so you do have the uh, option to keep this shut if you need some extra countertop space or prep space. The grate on it is actually going to be a cast iron grate, so a little bit rougher, um, going to withstand a little bit more of a beating. And then the knobs on the cooktop as well are actually what they call functional backlit knobs. So um, as a nice safety feature, maybe you have kids, maybe you're just sitting here talking, you lean up against it. You, if I would bump one of these and turn the gas on, this knob is going to turn red to let me know there's gas flowing even if it's just a little bit. So a little bit of a safety feature there built into the stovetop. We do not have an oven, however we do have a convection microwave. And instead of the oven, we've integrated a nice big pots and pans drawer. Um, can never have too much storage in one of these floor plans, um, especially when you're going smaller. Real estate is key, so taking advantage of what we can there. Um, you're gonna have a good amount of storage here under the sink and there's actually another cabinet right here on the other side of this that will go all the way back to the stove here so a ton of kitchen space storage in this floor plan. As you move past the kitchen you also have I would say more pantry storage. Now this can be wardrobe, linen, pantry, whatever you need it to be but um, on this side would be a good spot to do you know a hanger for clothes. You have shelves for folded clothes here you already have built-in shelves so this could be pantry space split with wardrobe space on the right side and then drawers to the floor we have one two three four five of them um, just in this section here so tons of pantry slash kitchen space your bathroom is right here and um, it's a pretty good sized bathroom gonna have a porcelain toilet again stainless steel sink in the bathroom We've actually corner, uh, corner mounted the medicine cabinet to give you a little bit more headspace as you're leaning over, brushing your teeth, getting ready, things like that. So you still have your medicine cabinet and a mirror we've just mounted on the wall in front of the sink to give you a little bit more headroom. Shower in this floor plan is going to be a 24 by 36. It is going to have a sliding door that's going to help retain the water, keep the water inside the shower versus something like a, a shower curtain. Moving on back to the bedroom, one of my favorite features about this floor plan. So you'll notice we actually do have a secondary entrance door here um, that can be dead bolted as well. One thing I absolutely love about it is you have windows surrounding your bed. So if you back up into a campsite, uh, maybe you have a river, or you just have a great view as you back into your campsite. You wake up in the morning, that's what you're going to see. Emergency exit here, full 60 by 80 queen bed, big wardrobes on both sides of the bed. And again, we have just not wasted any space here. Uh, small socks and underwear drawer here, hanging wardrobe, folding clothes, and then uh, spring-loaded hinges to keep these up 
on top. So we have just plenty of closed storage here in the bedroom. And one of our newest uh, features on this, since we redesigned this floor plan, which used to have an accordion style door here, we now have a sliding, um, I wouldn't really call it a pocket, but a sliding door for privacy in the bedroom. And that would be pretty much everything on the 2500 FL. Uh, did you tell us what the warranty was yet? The warranty for Winnebago's, we're going to have a three-year structural warranty, um, which actually um, we can get you anybody they need information on that. It does entail quite a bit. It covers quite a bit. Slide out box applications, um, and, and it also covers labor for a lot of those things, so not just parts. Um, we also have a one-year bumper to bumper warranty um, on everything. All of our appliances will have their own warranties, so for example, uh, our Dexter axles on this unit are going to be a six-year warranty. If you go to Torsion, I believe it's up to 11 years. Your membrane on your roof is 12 years. Um, most of your appliances, refrigerator, air conditioner, furnace, stove, all those usually have a two-year warranty as well. And do you warranty for full-time living? We do not. One of our viewers is actually in a wheelchair. Can this be modified to accommodate a wheelchair? This wouldn't be an ideal floor plan. We do have a floor plan um, in our Voyage line, the 2831RB, that when the slide is out, it's a very open concept, plenty of floor space. The only difficult part is gonna be um, the shower. So Grant, thank you so much. We learned so much about this travel trailer. It seems like an excellent travel trailer. Um, I really appreciate you spending the time to go through it with us and cover all no, the features and absolutely. options. absolutely. Um, happy to have you here at the display. And I wish you guys the best of luck on your future endeavors. Hope to see you again. All right, thank you. Absolutely. Okay, John, that was a great tour by Grant. It was. But now it is time for your pet peeve, my favorite feature, and our build quality rating. So what do you think? I think in this one, I think the bed's a little too firm. At least for me, I would replace that mattress. You just spoiled. I am. That's what. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Okay. That I'll I'll take that. For me, my favorite feature is the way that the kitchen is set up so that it kind of separates the kitchen from the living area. I like that little. It's almost like a little island there. Yeah, it's like an L shaped L kitchen. Yeah, exactly. I I love the way they they did that. Yeah, that was my favorite. Okay, so now our build quality rating. Now we already went through. And we looked at everything. Everything. Tried the cabinet doors. Yeah, everything. Looked at the seats. Yep. Uh, everything. And I'm telling you, Winnebago doesn't, it doesn't disappoint. We couldn't find anything wrong. So this is a rarity. Yes. But we are going to give this mini a 10 out of 10. Yes, we are. Yep. All right, folks. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.